Understanding the concept of God sending messengers to relay his message. How would one know their role and life purpose unless one received clear and practical instructions as to what God wants and expects of them? Thus comes the need for prophethood. God has sent thousands of messengers and prophets to humanity to convey his message and communicate to us. Every nation on earth has received a prophet. They all preached the same general message, that there is only one deity worthy of worship and that we should follow his commandments. He is the one and only God, without a partner, son, daughter, or equal. God sent messengers and prophets to guide humanity away from worshiping created beings and toward worshiping him, the creator of all things. Prophets came to teach their people who their creator is, how to build a relationship with him, and how to love him. These prophets taught their people that life is only a test. The successful will enter paradise eternally, while the unsuccessful will undergo the ultimate punishment in the hereafter. God sent messengers with revelation to humanity to guide them, starting with the prophet Adam, including Noah, Abraham, Ishmael, Jacob, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon them. Due to God's love and mercy, he began to guide humanity as soon as he created Adam and Eve, peace be upon them. He instructed them to worship him alone, the one and only God, and not worship his creation. He ordered them to submit fully to him. Later, this message was given to the rest of the messengers and prophets of God to deliver to their people. The practice of fully submitting to God, which the prophets taught, is Islam. Islam, by definition, means the act of submitting to God. A Muslim, by definition, is someone who submits himself to God. Anyone who submits to God is called a Muslim. He has ordained for you a religion what he enjoined upon Noah, and that which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, and what we enjoined upon Abraham and Moses and Jesus, to establish a religion and not be divided therein. Quran, chapter 42, verse 13. Many of the prophets are found in the Jewish and Christian traditions. Whenever God sent messengers with revelation, people distorted and changed the revelation of God after they passed. What was once pure revelation from God was polluted with the words of historians, scholars, random people, superstitions, irrational philosophical ideologies, and idol worship, and contained many malicious inserts and deletions throughout time done for the person's own agenda and political and financial gain. Whenever people distorted the message of God and his revelation, God sent another messenger or prophet to reform or renew his message out of his infinite mercy. Jesus Christ was sent to reform the previous message sent by the prophet before him, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, as Prophet Moses' message was distorted after his departure. Jesus Christ is quoted in the Bible as saying, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Just like how Jesus Christ was sent to reform the message of the prophet before him, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came to reform Prophet Jesus' message because it had been too distorted by people after his departure and did not survive in its original form. Because God will not be sending any more revelations and messengers to humanity, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and God's final revelation, the Holy Quran, is meant for all humanity until the last day. All previous messengers and books other than the Holy Quran and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
were sent only to a specific group of people and were meant to be followed for a particular period. They had expiration dates. For example, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of God's mightiest messengers, sent down with the same general message of all previous prophets, but only to the children of Israel, the nation that lived before us, as their final prophet, because they were disobeying the commandments of God and veering away from the laws sent down by the previous messenger, Moses, peace be upon him. God the Almighty did not send down many messages to humanity. Instead, he sent only one. While the general message and theology were the same for all nations, details of law, what is permitted and not permitted, were molded to suit each nation depending on the time and place they lived to better grasp and follow the message. However, the core message sent by God is always the same. Worship the one God and follow his commandments. God instructs you to adhere to and acknowledge that no deity other than Allah is worthy of your worship, love, loyalty, sacrifice, subservience, hope, and fear. Allah is the unique name of God. The word Allah is the Arabic name connoting the Almighty God. It is the semantic term for God. Allah is not a different God from the God that Christians and Jews worship, nor is he a new God invented by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or Muslims. Allah is the same God that Christians and Jews call upon. However, Muslims, Christians, and Jews all have different concepts of God. The name of God in Hebrew is Elo, and the name of God in Aramaic is Elah, and Assyrian Aramaic is Allaha, and in Arabic it is Allah. All the names of God in these languages are pronounced about the same, as there is only one true God. If one were to pursue an Arabic Bible, it reads, In the beginning, Allah created the heavens and the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. And, For Allah so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John chapter 3 verse 16. 